Hey folks! So, I've watched the new Netflix documentary about uh, Cleopatra that everybody's raging against, and uh, so what did I think about it? Eh. The show's entire claim to fame is the racial controversies it has generated. We felt that it would be a completely forgettable retelling of a great story that has already been told countless times. The production is mediocre, the acting is alright, but the casting is completely off, it's completely inappropriate, if it wants to claim to be a historic documentary. If they had called it a work of fiction, knock yourself out, make Cleopatra a green woman from Mars, and she drives a Mustang through the streets of Cairo for all I care. That actually sounds like a... <laughs> it would make a good Doctor Who episode. <laughs> Anyway, if you're making a documentary, the bar is set a little higher, because you need to account for certain historical accuracies. So let's start with the simple stuff, the sets. The sets are passable, I believe it was all filmed in this huge permanent set they have someplace in Morocco, and uh, it's where pretty much every Egyptian enactment documentary has been filmed in recent years. Uh, the sets have Egyptian elements, but they don't seem to be too informed, it's just Egyptian-looking stuff to make it look Egyptian. For example, there is this one scene in particular, we have Anubis and Isis in the background for some reason, and uh, gibberish on the wall, and some Egyptian symbols, and whatever is this? At first I thought it was cuneiform, but I can't read it. Can you read cuneiform? <laughs> if that's what it is, I'd love to know what it says. The acting, it passes for a documentary. The actress who played Cleopatra, I actually like her, she has really good energy. She is good, but uh, I'd much rather have seen her play one of the Kushite queens with her warrior queen attitude, and there her skin wouldn't be a mismatch also, so that would be even better. It's distracting how much the cast doesn't seem to fit the roles, because Julius Caesar's I think maybe looks the best of them, but a little, a little too young perhaps. And uh, we do have statues of Caesar, we know what he looked like. Mark Antony, the guy doesn't look at all like Mark Antony. Octavian, I think, was the worst because uh, Octavian was a very baby-faced man, and the actor they used is this uh, scruffy, battled, hardened guy that doesn't look at all like Octavian. So it is distracting. But the big deal about this whole thing is, was Cleopatra black? Not likely, really. In the period of history where this takes place, in the later half of the 1st century BC, Egypt was ruled by the Ptolemaic dynasty. The Ptolemies, they were Macedonian Greeks. We know what they looked like, there is plenty of statues and coins and depictions of them. And they were diabolically incestuous. Uh, let me show you a Cleopatra's family tree, I'll leave it on the screen so you can see how it doesn't exactly branch out, it weaves itself. At one point, the experts in the documentary bring into question Cleopatra's ancestry and use that to justify that she should have been black, because why not? We don't know who her grandmother was and we are not entirely sure who her mother was, so she must have been black, shouldn't she? Um, indeed, there is two elements of uncertainty in uh, Ptolemy's family tree, which may have added a drop of likely Persian blood to their lineage. But from the evidence we have, the likelihood that they had sub-Saharan blood is next to nothing. So I'm sorry, but Cleopatra would have looked Mediterranean. And uh, our reason for believing that is that, oh look, we have depictions of Cleopatra! We know what she looked like, we had paintings and statues of her. So why is this even a debate is beyond me, really. There is an insistence of the narrator referring to Cleopatra as an African queen which is technically correct, Egypt is in the continent of Africa. But that is as vague as saying that Elizabeth II was an European queen. It is correct, but it's painfully vague. Some people seem to think that Africa is this homogenous place and that if you are from Africa, you must be all the same. And that is very ignorant at best and racist at worst. Africa is an immense place. You can fit two United States in there and have room left over. And the variety of ethnicity they have there, it, even amongst the people of the dark skin, is huge. So you can't just say 
that because you're from Africa, you must be this. So yes, she was a queen in the continent of Africa, but that doesn't automatically translate into what color her skin was. I think this documentary lacks any reason for existing, really, other than trying to push the ideas of a vocal minority of Americanized views to rewrite history. One of the presenters, she sounds outright delusional when she rambles on about how it doesn't matter what anybody says, her grandmother told her that Cleopatra was black. So that settles the matter, I guess. Nothing beats granny wisdom. In my opinion, this was a wasted opportunity. It's a huge waste of money and talent, and it serves for nothing other than to offend people and appropriate their culture. So I cannot recommend this show. It left me sad because it could have been good, but it wasn't. So have you watched the Netflix Cleopatra? What did you think of it? Let us know in the comments. I would love to hear your opinions. And thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I'll see you next time.